Hey guys, my name is Shashank and welcome back to this another Excel tutorial and today in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create this dynamic employee bio data form where you can search your employees uh, using their name or by their personal ID and you will get these details right in just one click right so as you can see that I have searched myself with my employee number and I have the details here so if I delete it and I just type my name here so I will also get the same details here as you can see or I can change it from employee 1 to employee 2 I will get the details right or if I change from employee 2 to employee 3 I will get the details or if I change the employee number 19656 so I will also get the details let me change it right so as you can see this is how this dynamic employee by data form will work and if you are interested so stay, t stay tuned and I will show you a step by step procedure on how to create this dynamic employee bio data form. So to create this first of all you need to have this uh, database right where you have the complete information about your employees right the all these uh, uh, headings which I have created so if you want to add pictures you can also add them and it's up to you if you want or, it, or, or if you don't want it right. So so you have created this database let's assume that and now you want to make this sheet so for that i'm going to start it uh, from the scratch so this is this is the sheet one where i've just copied the complete uh, formatting of from this sheet and i will start adding formulas here to let you know that how these functions are working so uh, in this sheet i'm using the five excel functions the first one is if then if error and then vlookup index and match so vlookup index and match are the powerful and dynamic excel functions which can really make you work easy if you know how to use them and if you don't know uh, i will cover them in my upcoming videos but today i will just tell you and show you how you can use these functions in your excel sheets right so stay tuned with me for this complete video and we will try to create this uh, from the scratch so first of all first of all i want to find out the personal number of the person right which has been uh, entered the name from, from the name of that person which has been added in this search box right so for that before that i will tell you one thing that we look up is having a limitation that we look up cannot find any value which is going from right to left for example if i search any value using this section right section one and i want the output uh, as the employee id the v lookup will not work right so to overcome that we are using the uh, second function here which is the index and match function so index and match function can go from left to right and right to left so let's see how to do that so first of all I will find the employee number by using the employee number using the VLOOKUP. For example, if a person has searched the employee ID here 19654, uh, so I want the same uh, employee ID in this cell. So you can do that by using the VLOOKUP function, right? So VLOOKUP, so which value you want to look? I want to look this value and where do you want to look it? I want to look it in this uh, complete sheet right so A to K so this is my data where this information has been added so it is asking you that what is that column number where your value is written so that is the column number one right and then it is asking me that what do you want an exact match or an approximate match so whenever we try to take an exact match the value should be zero and if you want an approximate match then you can add one so enter and then enter right so you can see that i have received retrieved my employee number from this information so this is the step number one but what if the person is uh, searching using my name so if that person is searching me by my name i won't get any value and i will receive this na error right so to overcome that we are going to add second function so second function is index and match and to overcome that error i am using the third function that is if error so if error can help us overcome this uh, na error because when we look up cannot find a value it gives us this na error right so if error and then i will add here index 
because index function will help us in finding the value which is on the left side of my search column right so my data is again a to k so i will add here f4 and i will see these dollar signs here and then second function will be here the match function so match function open parentheses and then my uh, cell which I want to look that is this cell B2 and then again where is the data that is in the phone list that is my database right so where it is so it is in the second column right so I will uh, add my second column here that is B to B right F f4 right and then i will close my parentheses here before that i want to add the exact match here and then i will add to one because one is the column right which i want to search and then again if error for my vlookup function right so this is the function which we have uh, uh, written here so let me test it is it working or not okay so you can see that I have searched myself using my name and then I have also received my personal number so if I again search myself using my 19654 personal number and then I will also get my personal number and then if I again search myself using the name okay sorry then I will also get my personal number. So let us see that how this index and match function is working here. So index function is used to find a value when you know the column number and the row number, right? And if you add those values in the index function, it will give, give you the exact value. But here we don't know that in which row my data is written, but I know the column number, right? So that's why I have added the column number one here, right? But the match function, match function will tell you that where that data is in the column number or in the row number right so match will give you give the input to the index function that in which row the data is written and i already know the column number so index and match will combine and will give us the result and the best thing is that index and match can look towards right to left and vlookup will only look from left to right so this way you can search your employee number using the name and using your personal number. So if you want to add multiple criteria, you can add multiple uh, functions here, VLOOKUP or if uh, index and match function to look up multiple values, right? So it's up to you, up to your choice. So now we have identified the personal number here. So next steps are very easy because now we just have to uh, keep this reference, take this reference to identify every other detail. So for that, I will take the reference this uh, of this number and then I will add a VLOOKUP function here. Again, if error, All right? So value will be VLOOKUP, then open parenthesis, which is the value you want to search for. I want to search for this value, then comma, where is the value? Where is the, the complete data? The data is in the phone list. So I will just simply select the complete data here from A to sorry K so this is my complete data right and then will it will ask me that what is the column number where your data is so I want to search my name so my name is in the second column so second comma zero close parenthesis press enter see I have received my name here so these two in uh, commas are actually the values when uh, there is an error so if you want to fill up this value you can add not available right so as you can see that Shashank Wale is already in this uh, data so it is giving me the value but what if I search any value which is not in the data 
it will give me not available right so this is the power of if error so if i remove the if error it will give me the na error okay so now we have received two values next all the steps are very easy now we just have to copy and paste this function into all these cells and our job is done right control c and then select all the cell control v okay so one thing which we need to do here before we copy is we need to copy the we need to fix the absolute reference here so what is the absolute reference so this is e7 i want to press f4 and i want to make it absolute and then i want to make this value is also absolute i don't want to change these values right so control c and then control v okay so you can see that all the data's uh, all the information is uh, every section is giving me the same same information but i want the department section designation and everything so for that i will just change the column number here and i will get the information so my uh, department is in the column number 3 so that is the column number 3 and then my section is in the column number 4 the column number 4 then my designation is in the column number 5 at column 5 mobile number is in the column number 6 then my office number is in the column number 7 right and my residential number is in the column number 8 and then my address is in the column number 9 and then my email id is in the column number 10 you can see that we have just received retrieved all the information from this database to this sheet so let me test it so i will uh, employ 3 the information is changed employ 4 information is changed right so now the next uh, step as you can see that when there is a blank data it will give you zero so we will see how to remove this zero also but before that we need to retrieve the photo of our employees into this area so what should we do first of all the step number 1 is we will go to our picture column and i will just select the cell not the picture if i select the picture it will look like this but if i select the cell it will be selected like this right so press control c and then go to sheet 1 and then go here and press and sorry just uh, use this cell and go to this paste special option and paste it as linked picture you can see now we have this uh, picture here as a link you can see this is the link so if i change the value here it will change the picture also right but i want to do it automatically and taking a reference from this value so this is what i want to do so this is the step 1 to for retrieving the picture and now we will take uh, we will write the formula here which will be used to retrieve our you can say pictures from our database so the problem is we need to apply the formula on this picture but we cannot apply there is a limitation of excel which we cannot use uh, direct formulas on the picture so we need to create our own formula which we, which we call the uh, reference formula or name manager so for that i will go to the name manager right and i will you see if you see i have already created this formula here so i will go to new and then i will give it a name picture get picture okay now i will change it and i will write my formula here so i will write the formula index because we look up cannot be used to retrieve you can say the pictures so for that i am using index and match function again okay and then i want to set my values so my values are from k to k 3000 the uh, limitation is that you have to give the uh, absolute values here because before b without that it will not work here so that's why i'm taking a uh, guess that there will be 3000 values in this database you can change it to any number you want right and then it is asking me that which value you want to look so my value is in this cell so this is the value which i want to look for and then again where is the data okay it is in the phone list then close parenthesis and then it is asking me that from where you want to take a reference i want to take a reference of uh, from this first column that is the a to a 
right i will tell you that what is happening here right and then comma and then 0 0 is the absolute reference right and then two parentheses and then okay okay there is this problem here okay So K2 to K3000 and then again A2 to A3000, okay. So now we have created this uh, reference formula here and then I will close it, right. And then I will go here and then I will delete it and I will type here get picture and then enter. You see the picture has started changing automatically by taking a reference from this value. You see Shashank Walia is having this picture in this first cell, right? And then we are going to change again it, uh, 19655, the picture is changed. So this is how you can create your uh, employee bio data using these five powerful Excel functions. Okay, sorry, <coughs> I have not added the uh, one more function, which is the if function. So how, why do we need to use the if function? For example, uh, if you can see that 19655 uh, is having all the information. But what if there is a, any missing information? For example, the, the work number is not here, it is blank. So it will give me this zero error. So how to overcome this zero error, right? So let, we will see that. So I have already added this in this sheet. Okay, let me show you where it is. So this is where, uh, this is what I was talking about. So this is the function which we are going to use to overcome this zero error, okay? So what is this function and what is it doing here? Let me show you, just complete, simply paste it here. So if error, so if there is an error, right? It will look up for the error and it will give us the result uh, not available, right? <coughs> so if error, so just click it value so this is the value which is it is looking for and if this value is true right then it will give us the result whatever we function is written in this uh, parenthesis but if there is an error it will show is not available so what this if function is doing here so if i click on if it will give me that this is the logical test for example if after looking for the information by vlookup the information is equal to zero right for example, then it will give me the output as not available, okay? But if it is not equal to zero, then again it will uh, give me the output from the VLOOKUP. So this is how if and if error and VLOOKUP are working together here. So let me actually change the value here from E6 to E7, right? And then again E6 to E7. Now you see, the value which was here uh, zero now it has been changed to not available okay so this is how you can use this if if error we look up function together to make it more dynamic so that's all for today's video and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to download this uh, present uh, excel sheet you can just follow the link mentioned in my description box thank you very much